because this again, this is free finishing. Uh, it looks pretty good, so I'm going to continue on. So the I next. I think you used a very tight step over on that as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is a is a professional toolpath called uh, curve machining. Uh, in curve machining, uh, the toolpath will follow a curve, and you give it a bandwidth, and it will uh, project that curve or toolpath down onto the surface. So let's go back over here to the depart. Uh, right now, we don't need this on yet. We'll go ahead and turn that masking surface off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to three axis, and we're going to do curve machining. And for the curve, we're going to go ahead and select. Give me just one second. Okay. We're going to go ahead and select this curve right here. Okay. And this is offset from that this wall actually. We're not going. We don't want to cut this wall or touch that wall. So we're going to stay off of the wall uh, by this amount. In fact, let's go ahead and remove that and select this other one just to make sure that we're plenty enough away from that wall. Okay, and then for the tool, we're going to use the quarter inch. Uh, looks like it. I oh, know we're going to use the eighth inch ball mill. So let's get the eighth inch ball mill, and we're going to go with cut parameter here uh, we're going to do zero stock this is a finishing operation and we're going to go along the curve so it's going to go around the curve and we're going to do a cutting bandwidth of hmm, i think that should be okay let's try 0 0.2 and for a step over let's go um i'll just look bad there no, say, you got 0 0.02 on the bandwidth okay Yep, bad habit, 0 0.2. And for the step over, let's go 0 0.05, just so you can see it good. And for the entry and exit, uh, we'll just use a uh, lines uh, entry and exit. Let's generate that. And you'll notice that the curve machining is a relatively quick uh, calculation. Okay, so it looks like we're doing it on both sides. That's not what I wanted. So let's go back in here, edit the operation. Cut parameters. Okay, uh, left side. We're going to turn that off. And let's go ahead and change this to, give me just one second. Okay, let's change that to the right side. Right side. We're not going to do both sides. And we're going to have a bandwidth of 0.2. Okay, so what you see here is that it followed the curve. It doesn't matter if this curve is actually on the surface. It's probably close to being on the surface, so that's fine. Uh, and it will step over on the side that you pick by the step over amount. So I'm trying to get over here. I'm going to do it from this side as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually go over a little bit more. So let's go 0 0.3. Okay. So now I'm going to use the same operation. Again, I'm just going to clone it. I'm then going to go into here. And I'm going to remove that edge, and I'm going to select this one here. There should be one there. Okay, so I'm going to select that curve, right click, and let's see if it's on the right side. Let's go ahead and generate that. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what I did here was I used two curves, two operations. One of the curves is on this inside edge. Another curve is here on the outer edge. So the first one went from here outward, and the second one went from here uh, inward with an overlap. Uh, bandwidth okay we can go ahead and simulate that even though there's a large step over let's just go ahead and simulate that anyway okay let's turn that off uh, so you see that it went uh, from this edge outward now ignore the cusp because I'm using a large step over so let's go ahead and simulate this one. Oh, sorry I didn't mean to generate it simulate that okay so 
that is a finishing operation for this surface that goes all the way around. If you see that, if you look at that, that surface is, is curved. 